What's up, guys? Happy hump day, huh? Hey, guy. Can you believe tomorrow is Thursday? One more day before we get to enjoy Friday, which I'm looking forward to. I've got a fridge cleaner meal here tonight. I've got <clears throat> pasta with meat sauce. There's spinach in there, too. I've got some nachos with cheese. Oh, some leftover chicken from last night that I did not finish. Uh, it's uh, some kind of white cheese on it. And then... It was white cheddar. White cheddar. <laughs> and then garlic toast with <coughs> white cheddar also. I haven't had pasta in a long time. And to be honest with you, I have not been craving pasta. But tonight is a fridge cleaner meal. And my mom made pasta for uh, my dad tonight and smelled really good. Hey, Munchkin. What's hey, up, Layla. guys? How are you? <clears throat> Peggy's got the same thing. I do. I have got... a big plate of pasta, guys. Right there. Big plate of pasta with chicken sausage, peppers, onions, and some pepperoni. Oh yeah, I have sauteed onions in mine too. Your milf is fire. Well, first off, Munchkin. Thank you, Munchkin. She's my milf, but I'll share her with you. I'll no, share her. I think I'm Munchkin's milf. All right. <laughs> I was saying I would share with you. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, please be good. Please be good. I really don't want to waste. Listen, You're fired too, Munchkin. Do you know when's the last time I finished Pasta Cat? A oh, while. Wow. Munchkin, you're... No, a long time. Fire. All right. Eric the Electric. How is everybody's day? <laughs> Anything good happen? Anything this crazy? Is Yours is hot. Yours has been in the oven for like 45 minutes. Yeah, no, it's hot. Everything was... Prepared, not last minute, but I think I don't finish my pasta most of the time because I let it sit in the oven and then it dries out. That's just what I think. So the the goal tonight was to make the pasta, let that you sit because pasta heated up is fine, but when you let it sit you. in the sauce and overcook, pasta gets crunchy or it gets it, the sauce just dries out and it tastes like shit. Munchkin, I feel like pink really complements like my skin tone, especially this color pink. I don't like that pink. I do, because it's the same color as my lipstick. <laughs> I think I, my lipstick looks awesome. Like your the lip? Hot, the hot pink. Yeah, no, your lips that will try and I don't like that shirt though. It's the same color. I think Kaki should just take a shirt off and join me. I'm be shirtless. We should just become YouTube nudists. How about that? <laughs> I'm pretty sure we get flagged. Can you imagine a life? Can you, you imagine it's totally time? get flagged. Can you imagine? <laughs> well, I think one day that YouTube's gonna have a, a no clothes policy. Like, if you want, if you want to stream naked, you can do so. You just gotta, you have to, you know, let, you know, make your your channel be known like it's rated R. Mm. I think that. Did will you know that this is not for children? You did not know that. I haven't. I, I don't have to. If I make children's videos, I have to say this is for children. Britons, hello. I think that's how you say your name. I'm sorry if I butchered it. Britain Seven, hello. Do you confuse an S with a seven? No. Well, it's a seven, not an S. Britain, yeah, I, know. I don't know why I say an S. I no confuse idea. letters and numbers sometimes too. I don't though. I confuse numbers, like not confuse numbers, but like numbers like flip. Like I'm dyslexic, guys, when it comes to numbers. I don't know which is the best part. All right, I'll be honest with you. The nachos are pretty damn good. You're having pasta tonight too, Cody? Nice. Cody sounds good. Hey, Chooch. Jimmy is not here yet. I was actually talking to Jimmy earlier today. Jimmy was sick last night. Yeah, Jimmy did not feel well. Huh. And he just went to sleep. Cody, what kind of pasta are you doing tonight? Are you cooking right now or are you on your way home from work? Jimmy could be lurking on Twitch. Who? That's where he likes to lurk. Who? Jimmy. Oh. I gotta thank you for reminding me. How are you doing, Chooch? How's the baby? All right, Twitch. She's where are you? so friggin' cute, Chooch. Oh my God, I just can't take it. She's a little peanut. She's a little peanut. Doesn't it make you want to have a baby? 
Like Listen, you... I look. I was just saying this to the mom at Isabella's school today. Like she has like a five month old little girl that she carries around in the little hand in the little car seat, and I'm just like, I honestly miss that. Like I miss that little baby, like that little baby thing. But like in the same way, you like them, and then when they grow up and start getting like our kids' age, exactly. Exactly. I'm like, cause she's not like full blown two kids dragging her in two different directions point yeah. just yet. And I don't want to freak her out. But that's what's going to happen. You don't know that. Not all kids, you know, are act, no. you know, bed in the stores. No, no, no. I'm not just saying in the stores. I'm like just saying in general. Like two kids are constantly like compete and like want your attention. No one's seeing you here. Pierre Delecto. Hello. I did not see your comment before. But hello. And Cody Vodka Sauce is like one of my favorites. One of my all-time favorites when it comes to doing pasta. Yeah, there was no comment before that. Or even saying that you popped in here. I just scrolled all the way back to the beginning. I didn't see it. No, it has to be Instagram's issue then because well, it's not here. Here's the thing with people, the guys, that, the gals that watch us on Instagram... If you pop in and don't say nothing, or even if you do say something, there's a good chance, there's a great chance that I don't see the comment because I'm too busy talking. Yeah, well, that's number I one. I like to talk. I like to talk, but I don't mm -hmm. want to also, I don't also, because for YouTube, YouTube doesn't see the comments. You guys don't see nothing. So I like to Thank keep you, the show, our stream, our dinner talk as entertaining as possible. And if that means me just talking about, I don't know, random shit, I'm going to keep on flapping my gums. Cody, that sounds delicious. Did you read what Cody's eating? Yeah, I the vodka sauce with the mushrooms. Oh, hell yeah, it sounds delicious. Okay, I'll do pasta tonight, and I probably won't do pasta for like a plate of pasta. I mean, probably for like a month. Yeah, I haven't done a plate of pasta in a long time, guys. I might do pancakes tomorrow. I've been craving pancakes. Don't quote him on it. Oh no, no, you could quote me on it. Tomorrow will most likely be a sweet meal. <laughs> Whether it's pancakes or something else that I have in mind, tomorrow is going to be a sweet meal. You can bet your bottom dollar on me. Or not. You All don't right. have to. Little Orphan Annie. <laughs> Who? Little Orphan Annie. Bet your bottom dollar. I wasn't singing the song, though. But that's like she bets her bottom dollar on something. So yeah, but that's what I, that's not what I was going for. You were here and said it. you walked eight miles at Disney today. You nice. went to Disney today? I've never been to Disneyland. I have been to Disney. I've been to Disney World, not Disneyland. One's in Florida. Disney World is in Florida. And then one's in California. Disneyland correct? is in California. Disney World, which is the main one, Disney World, right? Um, I don't know. Like, what's the difference? Is one not as big, not as grand? I don't know. I've I never... just think it's in two different states, so they call it two different things. Is it the same owner? I don't know. I mean, I would think so. I mean, with a name like Disney, it's not like you could... I, it's not like I could just go open up a deli and call it, you know, Disneyland. Munchkin, I made whole wheat pasta, two different kinds, honestly, because we had, we had like a little bit of the penny left, a little bit of the elbows left, so I was like, I'm just gonna Hashtag cook. fuck you. You know who you are. Yeah, that was fasting bastard, because <laughs> I kind of laughed at that. But I made two different kinds of pasta, yeah, original land is and then I sauteed some peppers and some onions in the pan, and then I cut up the chicken sauce, just threw that in there, mixed everything together. With some Classico, what was it, spicy red pepper sauce? Was that it? The, the shit you always use. You bought it. Hey, spicy tomato, whatever it was. Yeah, spicy I don't know. tomato basil, I think that's what it was. Classico t t spicy tomato basil. Mix it all together and threw some grated cheese on top. Kagi always used to get that sauce, and I never did. I always stick, you know, stuck with the traditional garlic. The um, garlic. And then I tasted Kagi's one time. I'm like, it's got a little bit of a kick to it. Nothing crazy. Like, now I don't even taste it. I, honestly, the Classico, when it comes to the roasted garlic or the one we used tonight, I personally don't see a big difference. You know what I mean? Disney World, and it was off the cuff day trip. 
So it was just like a spontaneous. Is that what you meant? Like, but off the cuff, is that like spontaneous? Yeah. That's pretty cool. You live down there, or yeah, you live down there, and you could just, you know, randomly go to Disney World if you want. Like we have a, what do we have? We have a great adventure in New Jersey. No, it's not New Jersey. Yeah. Great. Yes, it is. Oh, great adventure. Yes, I'm thinking of Adventureland. Never mind. Oh no. We have an Adventureland too, but it's not like. Uh, yeah, no, it's not. It's, it's not a big adventure no. unless you're a little kid. <laughs> Pretty much. Are we done Christmas shopping yet, Pete? We did not even start. We're starting this weekend. I don't even have a clue. I mean, I know, but I, we gotta still gotta find out what exactly the kids oh, want. Oh, I, I pretty much know what they want. I want to get it over with. So. Lucas wants a phone. Not gonna happen. A what? A phone. Not gonna happen. Why the fuck does he want a phone? Because his friends in school have phones. I'm sorry. They I'm bring not... them to school? Apparently. Really? I'm not giving my seven-year-old a phone. Is it, it's not happening. Is it a bad idea, though? Like, what do you think he would do on it? I don't know, and I don't want to know. Number one. Number two, it's not nope. happening. It's not like he, was, he would have, like, internet. Hey, it's tattooed not hearts. Happening. How are Hello, you? Hello, tattooed hearts. How are you? I just realized it's tatted hearts. Not tattooed hearts. I always call them tattooed hearts. He knows maybe what I mean. Maybe it's somebody different. No. This one's a chick. That's the same profile picture from the other night. Oh. Hi, Pisces. Hey, Pisces. How are you? You pushed the camera back and now I'm out of the freaking view. Oh. I'm sorry, Gaggy. I didn't mean to do that to you. I mean, I am the star of the show. You are. People want to bang <laughs> you on, on, you know, according to the YouTube comments. Yeah, well. They still haven't made me an offer. Yeah, they did. They did not counter offer. Five million. That's what I said. Oh. There was no counter offer. I knew the number was there. No counter offer. Just that I make a lot of money. That's great. Counter offer. Hold on, Chooch. Are you still in here? You come in, ask if Jimmy's here, and then don't respond to anything leaves. and just leaves? Mm -hmm. What the fuck is Jimmy, that shit, Chooch? is different about you. Are you slowly growing moobs? My slowly growing, I think you meant to say boobs? Um. No. I don't think so. Nah, he's not growing boobs. Maybe. Are you growing boobs? <sighs> if I am, in your opinion, considering you said gaining you... some weight. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Okay. If I am, in your opinion, gaining some weight, who cares if I'm gaining weight? What's the big deal? You could be bulking. No, let's. Or I could just be getting fat. What's the big deal? Like, if if I, if I were to get fat again, is there is that a problem? That's for YouTube, not you, Tatted Hearts. Well, actually, you asked the fucking question, so it is for you too, Tatted Hearts. <laughs> what is the big deal with people gain weight? Yeah, Tatted Hearts, you said you were having trouble gaining weight, if I remember correctly, and then you popped in the other night and said you gained 30 pounds. And you have whole milk in your fridge, so... I agree too, Pete. What's the deal? What's the deal with you? Ask him uh, what, for a friend. What's the proper... What's the proper age for a kid to have a phone? Like Not seven. Grade? Not seven. Listen, I didn't have a phone until I was 18. I was old enough to pay for it. What, when did you get a phone? When I was 16 and did or you 17. Pay, did you pay for it? Oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I paid for my bill. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. Since I was 16 and I had a phone... Number one, I don't think I ever had a phone that did not get shut off on me. Because believe it or not, even back in the day when I was a youngin, I was horrible at paying my bills. I had money. I just spent it on other shit instead of what I should have been spending it on. And unfortunately, it carried over to my adult, you know, my adult hey, life. Hey, Trisha, how are you? Hi, Trish. Uh, Your fiancé, Jimmy Jam, is not here tonight. <laughs> Nothing is a big deal. I just noticed something different. Uh, the different, I mean, I, I don't, I wouldn't say I'm getting boobs. I mean, I am putting on some weight, but I wouldn't say I'm getting boobs. I've been watching all through this on YouTube. I remember when Jamie had about 100 something followers. I look forward to watching your streams. Thank you so much, D. What? Uh, hold on. D19183 said, Hey guys, I'm a huge fan of yours. I've been watching. 
I've been watching fall. Of, I think he meant all okay. of your videos on YouTube. I remember when Jamie had about 100, 100 something followers. I look forward to watching your streams. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you very that. Much. That's awesome. Yeah, I remember. Well, it's funny. You remember when I had a hundred followers? I remember when I had like seven. I remember when I had like four. <laughs> When four and then seven. Four. And if you if you really sit back and think, it was like, I didn't think I was ever gonna get any you know any followers, but or, or subscribers. It's a great. It's it's great. It's fun. I love seeing the progress. You know what I mean? Maybe the weight progress, the whole body progress, is not exactly happening right now. But Munchkin, I'm very sorry. It will. I'm so sorry. What happened? She had to put down a kitten. Oh no. She took care of her a week, became very ill when I thought it was going to make it and hurt you. I am so sorry, Munchkin. I hate when shit like that happens. I, um, knock on wood, I've never had to put down an animal. I don't think I could do it. it is, it is, as much as an animal might be suffering and you feel bad for it, and you know it's, like, you know, when you, you know, it's, it's, you know there's it's no coming back. There's no coming back. Like, I don't honest I don't think I could I don't think I could do it. Like I didn't do it with my dog who, no, who basically didn't. died in my arms. No. Yeah, that was bad. that was sad. You hit a deer or you hit a cow. Then the right thing to do is put it out of its misery and shoot it. I'm Which not reminds me that did, guy. Did you see the dead turkey on the side of the street up the road? I did not. One of the turkeys got hit. I want to say, I don't know if it got hit or what happened, but it's just, it's just laying there. It got hit. Those fucking I've, things don't care about the cars. They no, here's the thing. Like, it says wildlife crossing, which means you're supposed to stop if there's an animal crossing the road. But they don't. That's, that's the whole point of the wildlife crossing sign. Thank and you for educating me on that. What I was saying was those turkeys they don't, don't give up. First of all, fuck. they're animals. They don't know the difference between... <laughs> Whether I can cross the road or not cross the road, if there's a car coming or not, they're animals. They, they don't have any concept oh, they, of that. They know because once the car gets closer, they fucking gobble, gobble, gobble and run around. At well, if something the, got close the, to you, wouldn't you fucking run? I know I would. Well, the, well uh, some of the geese don't... <laughs> listen, you could always tell. And it's usually it usually happens with geese and turkeys. If they don't give a fuck, they're not going to move. I well, that poor thing is just laying there on the you side You have of the road. to shoot a deer all the time? Oh, I guess you see them when they get hit, and then they Clean can't... Clean it and put it in the freezer. Fasting bastard, that's just gross. I don't eat deer. I never had deer. I really get to watch your live because it's usually too late for me. Glad I'm able to catch you. Thank you, D19183. I'm happy to have you here. I really am. You have to shoot deer all the time. I'm guessing Cody, he that sees makes them. me sad. I guess you see them on the road when they get hit, and they're helpless, and they can't do nothing. Is that what it is, Cody? I bet you that's what it is. Hit a deer, clean it out, and put it in the freezer. How do you know if a deer doesn't have like... You know what I mean? You don't cook it. You have to cook it, but... How do you know if the deer doesn't have something? It's the same thing with chicken. You don't know if it has salmonella or not, but you're going to cook it and then eat it. It's the same thing. So, Cody, you, you do that... And then you have to call like call animal control, and then they come and clean yeah, it up. Yeah, have to put them down. What's my both of your daily step count personal record? I have done twenty five thousand steps in one day. I'm up there. Haven't I, done that in a while, but yeah. I'm up there. I don't know that. I don't have a number though. He puts it in the trunk. <laughs> I lay down. He puts it in his trunk. Well, I would think you would call animal control. I'm sure he would call somebody. Or wildlife control. But who, Kaki, who asked about the step? Um, hold on, let me find it. Is it to watch live, hold on. I don't really, I, I don't pay attention. I never yes. paid attention uh, to Pierre. the steps. Pierre, Pierre. Pierre, I've never, never uh, paid attention to the steps. You know, if I notice I it, do. I notice it, but... I more so pay attention to how I feel. Do I feel like I had a good day? Yeah. An active day. Because there's days at work. Like yesterday, I was active all day long, but I didn't feel active because I took my sweet ass time. Because the day before, really screwed me up. And I had no energy, no, no will to do anything. 
Dang, you hit 1,500, 15,400 today. That's still good. Um, <clears throat> but that was when I was going to the gym. Like, I would hit, like, my step goal before I even left work, and then I would still go to the gym and do, like, an hour and a half mm -hmm. at the gym, so... That's back when I was crazy. I'm we not were, crazy like that anymore. No, we were both crazy. We were both... Here's our mindset when we were fat and losing weight. Even when we lost the weight and we wanted to continue to, you know, keep on going, we were both on our feet all day long. We would... Do an hour to an hour and a half. Kathy would do two hours at the gym. Everything was counted and weighed out. We were fucking animals. We would think like, oh, we're eating this. We gotta burn that shit off. Or I would do... Before we actually understood that you don't need to burn off what you're eating. Yeah. But it would make us feel better and we would do it. That was our mindset. Yeah, exactly. A bunch of crazies. No. Nope. Nope. I this, put it this way. My Fitbit I had like a glitch the other day. And I was like, oh, fuck. I like to have a watch on that, you know, tells the time and lights up and all that happy shit. And yes, um, it tells you the calories, but the calories are not active. It tells you your steps. Are the steps active? I don't know, but you get a general idea. Anyway, I had a glitch and my dad went out and, you know, went grocery shopping and brought me home this. This is not a Fitbit. This is something else. But it's it syncs to my phone. I get messages and all that happy shit. I guess it's like an Apple Watch, like Fitbit. But the fucking calorie, the, according today, according yesterday, I bought I throughout the whole day I burned eight hundred and forty eight calories. Obviously that's wrong. I wake up. Completely wrong. I wake up from you know no. getting up in the I get up in the morning and I'm, and you know according to my Fitbit that according fits. to my heart rate monitor. <laughs> I was over a thousand calories just, you know, sleep, not over a thousand calories, but like 700, 800, 900, and just sleeping, depending on what time I went to sleep. Well, Fancy Bass said fat bits are not accurate at all. He said fat bits. Oh. I think he meant to say fat bits, but. Yeah, no, no, no. We, I, I never, I never said trust the Fitbit. Munchkin's chiming in though on the, um, the whole phone issue that we're having. Yeah. He said, I gave my, she said, I gave my son a phone at age eight because he would go with his dad so I can get a hold of him. That's. Just emergencies. My daughter had one at eight just for emergencies, games, and YouTube. That's it. See, now, that's what they have tablets for. No, but she's, when. And you can activate the tablet to the point where they can contact only certain people on it. Not by calling. Uh, no, texting. Okay. And they can speak to text. Okay. And our kids are really good at that. Yes, they are. But let's just say I left you for Paris Hilton, okay? And me okay. And, hold on, let's just say this. Not going to happen, but okay. Let's just say I'll bite. me and you break up. I go with Paris Hilton, okay? Mm -hmm. Paris wants to take the kids for the weekend. With me, obviously. We're going to go do something. You have no say. They're my kids. I can do that. But you want to be able to, to call Lucas whenever he can. Would you buy him a phone? So you could call him whenever you want. That's different. I know Paris would buy it for him. Good for fucking Paris. She and his fucking mother. Number one. She would be... Can you imagine though? Number two. That would never happen. Hypothetically. Keep on saying that. Never happen. Keep on saying that. Just like the girl from that show that, that you... Uh, the nail show. I saw the mother today shopping in Hot Pot. You did you really see her though? You yeah. weren't sure if it was her. When oh, it you was her. Me. No, it was her. You didn't I, go up I, to her. I I walked right past her. I would have said. And are I didn't you, say not that. I didn't oh, say I because have. she didn't look like she was in a good mood. She did not look like she was in a good mood. Well, she's in shop right number one. That's probably why she wasn't in a good mood. My first instinct was like, is the other daughter here? Where's the hot one? <laughs> Left you for a stick. With no tits. I like Paris Pretty Hilton's much. face. Pretty much. So do I have any takers, guys? You know you have Jamie, takers. Jamie left me for a freaking stick figure. Yeah. Not everybody is in love with the body. Alright? Oh no, just the face. I and it's probably not even real. She's looked the fucking same since she was doing that show with Nicole Richie. The Surreal Life. Can you imagine me on that show? Not with them, but in general, me doing that kind of shit. 
A stick with no tits and a giant inheritance. Exactly, Pierre. Exactly. Oh, Pisces said no ass. Listen, I like, I like her. You mean no ass? Yeah. That's another thing. No I, ass. I happen to like Paris Hilton. I always have. Does she have a rockin' body? No. She's got a nice body, but it's... It is what it is. Cody, if you're still in here, who's your dream girl? It my ain't that at all. Here's the thing. I'm not going to give my 8-year-old a phone. Or my 7-year-old a phone. I'm just not going to do that. I'm sorry. Like, Does he want a phone like to mess around with or to call people? He wants to call his friends. That's why we have a house phone. Which he memorized the number. So give them the house phone. I don't think anybody in here likes Paris Hilton. <laughs> Paris has made her own money as well. Yeah. Yeah, doing know. porn. That's not how she made her fucking money. <laughs> Are you crazy? Listen. Listen. Jamie would know. You like who you like. I like who I like. Yeah, I like Derek Jeter and freaking Leonardo DiCaprio. There's okay. no porn involved. And they're not stick figures. Paris didn't do porn. She had a sex tape, number one, that got leaked. Oh. That's the dirty... Leaked, guys. I would call Kim Kardashian's... Oh, yeah. That's another a, one. That's Don't even more, get me started. That's more of a porno. Paris Hilton? Not really. Enjoy your herpes. <laughs> Paris Hilton? Maybe. I mean, I wouldn't know. I don't want to find out either, but... I'll find out. Yeah, you'll never get laid again. Sign me up. Like Paris, but others more. She's around 20 on my long list. You got 20. a list. So who's number one, Pierre? I'm very curious. Paris Hilton is in my top five. There's some IG models that I am head over heels for. The one blonde you saw. Mm -hmm. This new girl that you saw. And then this model who does not do porn, but she's extremely pretty. She's a stick figure though, as you guys would like to say. Her name, is, her IG name is Emma Rito, or she's a very, very popular, popular model. Very pretty. You've, I've shown you pictures of her too. Johnny Jet. Hell yeah, Johnny Depp. And Mason, Mom I don't know who that mate, who Jason is. Number two is Farah. For Pierre. Oh, because, really? Yeah, Jessica Alba for Pete. Jessica, uh, Jessica Alba, Alba I could see. She's pretty hot. But <coughs> Farah, ugh. I'm not a fan of her. I would, I would definitely do Farah. Munchkin, what do we think of Farah? We've had this discussion before. Sebastian Stan, hey Lizette said. Who's, Who's that? that? Seb is that the guy from, is he a music musician? Munchkin, there you go. She's a nasty bitch. Fug yeah, bitch. Farrah. Fug yeah, Farrah. <laughs> no, she's a nasty bitch. Um, I like the way she looks. I don't like the way she talks. I don't like the way... You like her horse lips? Because that's where you get. She has fucking horse lips. Those are not real. They're all injected and gross. Might be beneficial. Yeah, yeah for suction quality. For suction purposes only. I wouldn't want to talk to her. I would just... I would like the you-know-what. That's all. Too much pasta. Uh. <laughs> How did I know you were going to say that? No. He's from Captain America, Civil War. The guy with the metal arm. Arm. Mm, I never saw that movie, Lizette. I'm sorry. Sebastian Stan. Hold on, I'll look him up right now. You'd be surprised how, how much I'm behind on movies in general. Yeah, I don't really watch movies. Sebastian Stan. Denise's husband from The Cosby Show. <laughs> oh, I wonder who he is. I don't know where he's from, but I know who he is. I don't know, I've never seen him before. So hot? He's alright. 
he's not so hot, but I think he's all right. Oh, he's the niece from the Cosby Show's husband. Oh, really? I don't know about that one. The winter shoulder. I am not ready for Star Wars. I've never seen it. I am so not a fan of the new Star Wars. I'm not a fan of the old Star Fasting Wars. Fasting Bastards. I am, I am totally set on like the original ones. Yeah, I'm good. I am not a fan of the new ones. Mm. Never really got into them. Couldn't sit there and just watch the whole movie. I'm like... I'm so set on like Princess Leia and everything. I can't. I'm with you, Pisces. No Star Wars, no Star Trek. She's fugly and fake. I've bitch. never been into those types of movies. Money for her whole body, nasty bitch. I agree, Munchkin. We've had this conversation I, before. I know that they're very popular movies, and I'm not hating on you if you like Star Wars. Trust me, I'm not. There's things that I like that I don't even understand why I like. But for me, personally, I cannot get into them. Fasting, I tried. I, I tried to get Jamie into the original ones, and he was just not having it. Couldn't have it. Couldn't do it. Not having it. And the original ones are the best ones. I'm sorry, I cannot get behind these new ones. Like, mm. I seriously go to sleep watching wrestling every single night. I could only imagine... I guarantee you if I put Star Wars on to put me to sleep, it would backfire, and I would too. be like... Pierre, start stating true facts. Jamie, me either. Yeah. I had it. I'm and then you. Cody agrees with you too. I get into Star Wars, yeah. So it's just me and Fasting Bastard, but I can't get into the new ones, Fasting Bastard. I'm sorry. Sorry, but you and Pete. I only like the originals. Like, if I had to, like, even the Harry Potters, like, they're big on, like, Comic Cons and all that. See, no, I like Harry Potter. Have I seen all of them? No. But do I? I saw like the first two, and I enjoyed them. I thought they were good. I thought they were great movies. Pete, wrestling, pro wrestling is great. <laughs> it, it was great. It was great. I still watch it just because I've been watching it my whole life, and I am eventually getting back into it. But it, it's not like how it was in the '80s and the early '90s. <clears throat> That's the shit I want. That's the shit I love. That's the shit I go to sleep watching. You know, that's the that's the stuff I go to bed, you know, watching at night. That puts me to sleep. Like a nightcap. I can get into Harry Potter. I can't get into Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings. See, Lord of the Rings was just weird for me. I couldn't get into Lord of the Rings. Ray is Luke's daughter. That is this a whole bunch of talk, 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 because I don't know. I know who Luke Skywalker is. Yes. Yeah. I don't know I don't know who Ray is though. I'm See, going. I think that has something to do with, like, the newer but, ones that I know nothing about. I'm going to get a little dessert, though. Be right back. Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Chewbacca. Those are all the people that I love, like, the characters that I love from the original ones. I can't, I can't watch the new ones. I just can't do it. Yeah, no. Pisces, I was not a fan of Lord of the Rings either. Oh, this is Isabella's frosting. Don't open that. I know, I'm putting it back. Oh my god. He almost opened the frosting that I bought for Isabella's gingerbread house making that we're going to tomorrow at her school. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, he's got his own frosting and they grabbed the wrong one. I got the wrong one. I wouldn't take Isabella's on purpose. Oh, Game shit. of Thrones, I also hear, is awesome. You too. Oh no, I never plugged it in. I never watched Game of Thrones much, Game, but I. Uh, everybody close. says it's so good, but I believe it just ended or it's going to end or something. What? Game of Thrones? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know, but let me ask you a question. This is for the ladies. Maybe you're pregnant, right? Okay. Maybe, maybe you're it's that time of the month. Do you ever just crave some frosting? Yes. On some uh, graham crackers? No, I just crave frosting on a spoon sometimes. So, so or like sticking my whole freaking hand in the frosting. Yeah, no, I do that too, but I want to be classy. And I, you know, at least put it on a cracker. I'm being honest, I'll stick my whole hand in that frosting and just eat it that way. I don't need this a is the best frosting. spoon or a graham cracker. This is the best frosting. And this, these are sugar-free graham crackers. 
Okay, they're not sugar-free graham crackers. I thought they are. Oh, they're not, they're cinnamon-free. What is it? There's they're two. cinnamon graham crackers. Oh, they're cinnamon. Okay. They're regular graham crackers with some fucking rainbow chip icing frosting on it. The Han Solo movie sucked ass. Oh, don't judge me. I'm not. I may join you. you <laughs> I may just join you. You are not judging me. I know that. I know that. But it's the people that think, why does it have to be boobs? Like, Jamie, you're getting a belly. No, Jamie, you're getting some man tits. You're not, though. Oh, no. Because it's people just try to get at you. It hurts, guys. You never hear them say, oh, Kaki, your boobs are getting so big. I wouldn't be offended. <laughs> I wish they were getting big, but they're not. Maybe I just need to hit rock bottom, guys. Maybe doing what I'm doing right now, putting icing on graham crackers, and I didn't finish my dinner, is rock bottom for me. And you're saving calories on your dinner so you can eat that? That's rock true. Rock bottom. Rock bottom, guys. No, but you know what does concern me? Mm. And, guys, I'm, I'm just fucking around. I'm not worried about me getting fat. He's not getting fat. Um, but what I am worried about is the whole me not being interested in the gym anymore. It's been, it's been like two months, and I'm used to it now. See, I miss the gym. <coughs> and the day that I went, I was like, oh, my God, I miss this so much. <coughs> and I honestly don't oh, have the time yeah. to devote to it because he works so late now. Like, that during moves. the week. He works so late during the week. I wouldn't be making it to the gym till like eight, eight thirty, maybe nine o'clock. No, we gotta, we gotta figure something out. Cause I need to get my chunky ass to the gym. I mean, I've been lifting weights and whatnot this whole past week, and then today I did not go to the gym. I went for an hour long walk, which I spoke to Jimmy Jam on the phone the whole time. Get, I was on my own. get you through it. They will get me through it, and I was like, I got home and I'm like, I took my boots off and I'm like. My feet were soaking wet. I'm like, shit, there's a hole in my boot. <laughs> there are holes in my boots. Didn't even feel like my feet wet because I was so busy talking to Jimmy on the phone. Well, all I'm saying, Kaggy, is if I keep on going down the road I'm going, I won't be wearing tights anymore. I'm going to go from wearing tights to fucking sweatpants. To my, or my maternity pants <laughs> that I have saved in a bag in the attic. Jamie likes cookies, not weights. That's fair, true, uh, Pete. Um, here's the thing. I enjoyed going to the gym when I was going. Hmm. But we're approaching the new year, 2020. I gym is going gym. to be fucking packed. The How gym am I supposed to? January. Am I gonna be, shit. Am I going to join the trend and do that whole January 1st? My ass is going to be in the gym. New year, new on me. The treadmill. <laughs> New year, new me, blah, 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 bullshit. It's new year, save me. I'm still going to continue to do what I'm doing. Attempt to hit the gym just slightly more than what I am now. I miss going to the gym every day, though. I miss going for my runs. I do that. I miss that. And I know once I do, you know, start my routine again, start back up my routine, before I know it'll be three weeks in, I'll be back to where I, you know... You know, Jimmy could use cookies as weights, Pete. That would be pretty funny. I should make him some weight cookies. Like cookies actually look like weights. I feel like that would be pretty funny. That would be very cool. And I'm... I'm pretty confident in myself that I can make that happen. If you can make it happen, girl, make me some cookie weights. Nothing more than 20 pounds. Okay. They might be less than that, just for show, but... Well, no, I wouldn't. I could make it happen. I'd want to use them. I'm having one more graham cracker. And I'm done. I'm done. Get a good night's sleep. Oh, never mind. It's if our normal commit, time anyway. I will too. Fuck New Year bullshit just now. Exactly. Fuck that New, new Year bullshit. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I'm with you. I, I don't you do that shit now. anymore. You commit now. You don't commit. Like, oh, I'm just going to wait until the New Year. Why? So you can get like gain another 15 pounds <laughs> before then? Yeah. And then make it harder on yourself? And like, and that's the thing. Like, I'm not too concerned about calories. I'm more concerned about the progress I've made with, with working out. But my body, I, I will say this: my body does respond very quickly to whatever I start doing. Something, I start seeing results almost immediately. 
almost the immediately. the world of being a dude where you see things happen immediately versus the world of being a chick where you have to battle all of your hormonal bullshit and then maybe eventually you'll see something happen over the course of time. I think this icing is going to give me a bellyache. Probably. Are you finishing that? Mm -hmm. I remember some. I snacked on, like while uh, we, you know, Kagi was heating up our dinner, I snacked on some Doritos. Mm -hmm. And then you made me finish the Doritos. And then I told Kagi to get them away or finish them. Cause so I, I didn't the want to. But I also had a Hershey bar. Kaki found one of my Hershey bars. I did. <laughs> I was packing the kids' snacks and lunches for tomorrow. And I pulled the chips out. I'm like, holy shit, there's a Hershey bar. And I remember Jamie last night was like, we don't have anything chocolate, do we? I'm like, no. So when I was packing the snacks, I'm like, holy shit, there's a Hershey bar up here. <laughs> he got up from his nap. Uh, and he was like... You keep on calling it a nap. It was not a nap tonight. I was well, laying down. Well, you went and laid down. I laid down. I to me, that's a nap. Whether you fell asleep or not. No, I didn't fall asleep tonight. I should have. Regardless. I was like, holy shit, there's a chocolate bar. In there. I should have just hit it and saved it for me, but. Mm -hmm. Icing and pasta. Would you try it? I would not. No. Mm -mm. Hell no. New York strip for me tonight. Nice, Pete. Sounds good, Pete. Hey, let me ask you a question, Pete. I know your son likes, you know, like chicken nuggets and all that stuff. He doesn't like, like, a, a good steak. Anything like that. He doesn't like some of the shit you like. Let me tell you something tonight. You know what Lucas had for dinner? He had the manigot that your mom made. And he ate the manigot. The manigot. And then he the had... The Yeah. He ate liver. Ew. He sat there and ate all the liver. Because your mom made liver the other night. And he's like, like he's like, oh, that smells so good. Can it I does. Can I try it? Yeah. See, now, I don't think it smells good at all. I think it smells delicious, I think it and smells I think it tastes like fucking... Absolutely just, yeah. disgusting. I think it smells yeah. as bad as it tastes. And he's like, that smells so good. Can I try it? And then your mom's looking at me. I'm like, let him try it. I mean, yeah. I'm like, I'm not yes. going to stop him from trying something. And he tried, he goes, he goes, oh. Can I have some of that for me? That's disgusting. <laughs> and she goes, yeah. So she puts some on the liver and goes, Grandma, I smell onions too. Are there onions in there? I'll take some nah. onions too. And I'm like, <laughs> oh my God. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> so he ate it all. He ate everything on his plate tonight. I had, Good for him. <laughs> I'm like, That's... good for him. He ate liver and onions and he ate uh, managa. My I mom, was like, holy shit. <laughs> my mom loves liver and onions. And whenever... You know, mm. I would be coming home from school or from a friend's house, and I smelt. I never knew it was liver, but it smelt good. And I would walk in the house, and I'm like, oh, what is she making for dinner? I'm thinking maybe steak or pork chops or something good, something tasty, something I can't wait to get my hands to on. And I'm like, what are you making? What are you making? She goes, liver. I'm like, fuck. But it would always entice me, and I'm like, you know what? I'll try a piece. I'll try a piece. I then tried I'm, it. I'll try it. Spit it right out. I did not like it. It smelled... And tasted as bad as it smelled. Oh my god, it's horrible. He's mentally ch I knew that, Pete. Introduced. Oh yeah, no. No, 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 Pete. I knew that. What I'm no, saying Pete, is, like, does that. he like, does he like some of the shit that you like, like steak? Does or does he just like the generic kid things? Or does he like the kid stuff? Chicken nuggets, mm -hmm. happy Chicken nuggets, meals, mac and that cheese, stuff. That's hot what dogs, I meant. things like that. Cheeseburgers. <sighs> he likes you guys too, by the way. Hell yeah. Oh, that's nice. It's very nice. I'm waiting on you, girl. I know. I'm just gonna rub my my rolls. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you laughing about? I'm just gonna rub my rolls. <laughs> you know how rolls. Yeah, you when I sit down like that. Look at them. Well, sit up straight. You're slouching. I know I'm slouching. You sit up straight, you don't have rolls. Sit up more proper. You sit up, that's how I always sit up straight. You never see me eat like this. I, 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 like I always eat, eat like this. I like to eat being comfortable. And I guess slouching Slouching hurts my back. 
I think I'd shoot for you, Jax. Nuggets and fries, mostly. See now, Lucas does not like nuggets. As much as I try. I didn't like nuggets when I was a kid either. He will not eat chicken nuggets. I didn't eat. I didn't eat. He used to eat fish sticks. He used to love fish sticks. I don't know what happened. He fell out of love with fish sticks, but Isabella's more the adventurous eater. I've been craving chicken nuggets. Craving cheesy chicken nuggets. Not like dumping cheese sauce over chicken nuggets, but like the cheese that comes inside the chicken nuggets. Oh. That's what I've been craving. Cheese the nuggets. The Purdue ones, yeah, those are good. Oh, pop, pop, you'd have to pop, Oh, Rudy, Oh, Rudy. Oh, Rudy. All right, we are going to end on yeah. Instagram yeah. and YouTube and Twitch. Jared will inhale fries. Fries are good. Fries are very good. McDonald's fries. I know anybody fries, who doesn't inhale fries. I know I do. Fresh McDonald's fries is by far the best. Mm -mm. That's how we're going to end the night. That's how we're going to end the night. We're Let me just going to... something. Those fresh Burger King fries the kids got the other night. Okay. Those were delicious. Burger King fries with no seasoning, not salty. No. Oh, they were salty. No. They were good. No. No, no, no. Good night, guys. We'll see you tomorrow night. Have a good night, guys. I'm doing something sweet. I'm telling you. It's going to happen. Don't hold your breath. You should go hold your breath. And don't Yeah, I should because I'm sitting next to you. Don't, uh, don't let it go until I tell you. Good night, guys.